The only kind of luck I'd had since moving to LA was bad luck. All of my money was in that purse. I wandered feeling helpless. I needed someone to help me. I needed money. But most of all, I needed a place to stay. This is Jill. Oh, you saw the ad online. Well, here's the deal. My mom's sick. I'll be gone for a couple of weeks and I need someone to dog sit. Can you be here soon? Okay, Diane, see you then. My plan seemed simple. I'd smile a lot. I'd pet the dog. I'd make Jill like me. I love your house. You must be an artist. I am. And I'm an art teacher at Marshall. Oh. Would you like something to drink? Water? Yeah, thanks. Why don't you look around? Come on, Detroit. I love it back here. It's, uh, it's like I'm in another world. Wow. Don't let him scare <laughs> you. He's just supposed to keep bad luck away. That's good. I know how difficult it is. Where are you from? Um, Michigan. I'm from Michigan. The boonies. This little town no one's ever heard of. Small world. I'm from Detroit. Oh, funny. How do you like Los Angeles? Um... It can take some getting used to. Yeah, I was living with my boyfriend, but uh, he was cheating on me. Poor thing. Detroit? Detroit? Detroit, come! Oh, you've got to keep your eye on Mr. Skinny. He's very sneaky. Oh, that's no problem. Hey, sweetie. Listen, you'd be doing me a favor. It'd only be for a couple of weeks, but... Really? Oh, can I give you a hug? Sure, I'd found a place to stay, <laughs> but my bad luck was about to get worse. Good boy. your flight? No, I was just about to take him on a little run, explore the neighborhood. Yes, <laughs> I will try to keep up. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye. Don't worry. Only borrowing these. Huh. Perfect fit. Troy! Come here, Troy! Come here, puppy! Troy! Where are you, Detroit? Where are you hiding? Come here, Detroit! Where are you? What is this always happening? 
happened to me? better I felt. It was like my brain just clicked. Suddenly things didn't seem so bad, and I remembered the phone number on Detroit's dog tag. I closed my eyes and wished that Detroit would just come home. I ran fast, conscious of nothing but the brag of my heart. I am, I am, I am, over and over, again and again. I heard another click, and I knew I shouldn't call Jill. The click left me feeling euphoric, like I was running through a dream. The cemetery was a perfect garden, its flowers always in bloom, its grass freshly cut, its soil freshly turned. I ran fast, hoping to leave my bad luck behind me. I promised myself that the next day I'd look for a job. doing much better, so I'll be home tomorrow. See you then. I couldn't get that taste out of my mouth, coppery like old pennies. My eyes burned, but I couldn't cry. I waited for the click, but it never happened. I kept hearing Jill's message. She was going to be home the next day, and I had no idea what to do. I needed to hear that click. I needed it to make everything okay. I needed it to tell me what to do.
When I got home, I decided to call Jill and tell her what had happened. I'd just tell her the truth. I reached for the necklace before I even realized what I was reaching for. I didn't need to hear the click. I felt invincible. No one could get in my way. Hey. I knew why I was running. I was the hunter. I grabbed her bag and never slowed. I ran fast. No one tried to stop me. I'd done it. I'd gotten my money back. No more bad luck. I'd made my choice. You can't, you can't outrun bad luck. 